Hello everyone. Welcome to our next segment of From Our Kitchen to Yours. For the holidays, you know, the holiday season is approaching us. I thought it would be cool to do something a little bit outside of my comfort zone. So we're gonna make a pie crust today. Uh, you know, typically pie crust is one of those things that we usually buy, but with COVID, um, decided to step outside the box and make my own. So let's get to it. In my food processor, I've got a cup and a half of flour, a half a teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon and a half of sugar, and I'm gonna put the top on and just pulse it a couple times to mix it up. I'm gonna remove the top. To that, we're gonna add six tablespoons of butter that I've cut up and two and three quarters tablespoon of shortening. I like to buy the shortening in the sticks Trust me when I tell you, it's a little bit easier to deal with. And then again, we're gonna pulse. What we're looking for is small pea-like pebbles. All right, so the next thing is we add our wet ingredients. So I always do extra ice water right here. And then in my measuring cup, uh, I've got about a half a teaspoon of white vinegar. Uh, that's a little squirt bottle right here. We can always add more water, but you really can't take water out. So I'm gonna turn this, this guy on. We're going to add the water and vinegar mixture. Okay, so you can see the doughs come together. It's not completely homogenized, and that's okay. Um, that's actually what you want. You don't want to overmix it. Overmixing causes friction. It also develops gluten, and that makes a less tender crust. So what we're going to do is just kind of get it together. I like to get it in a circle or a round kind of shape because it's easier to roll out. It was in the refrigerator for about 40 minutes. So we're gonna unwrap it, we're gonna roll it out. I'm gonna start in the middle, applying some even pressure. And we're going to roll it out so that we can get it to the right thickness so it'll fit into the dish. If you notice, I keep moving around. Uh, there's a couple reasons. One, so it rolls out nicely. And then two, it lets me know that it's not sticking to the cutting board. Crust is holding together, no tears, it's not stuck. I'm gonna give it a little more flour here and just thin it out just a touch more. Okay, so now it's time to get it in the dish. To get it in the dish, we're gonna use the rolling pin as a tool to roll it up, because this guy's kind of delicate. As you're rolling it up, if you notice that there's too much flour, just simply take your pastry brush and you can brush it off. And voila, there she is. So now we're gently gonna press it. Okay. Next, we're gonna use a fork. So let the steam come out and let it get nice and crispy. Okay, so for the crust, I'm just gonna take my two fingers and press, so that's that. So what comes next is we're gonna blind bake this. I mentioned that earlier, and what that means is we're gonna bake it without the filling. So I've got my parchment paper here, and I've got some dried beans. I'm gonna put those in. And then we're gonna bake this for 20 minutes at 375 degrees. Had some leftover dough. Uh, for this particular pie that I'm making, I'm not gonna use these, but I did wanna show you that with the leftover dough, if you had some cool little cutters, you could make your little shapes, bake these off, and they make great garnishes to make your pie look festive for the holidays. Our blind baking is complete. Remove the black eyed peas. I think I forgot to mention one important fact about blind baking is you always wanna use dry beans. Would not recommend using popcorn. Okay, so for the filling, uh, the great thing about this pie crust is you can use it for anything. You can make pumpkin pie, apple pie, cherry pie. You can make quiche with this. You can make empanadas. You can make ham pies. I'm going to make a chocolate ganache pie with this. This recipe is super simple. I'm going to get the heavy cream, put this together, and then we can finish this guy off. Heavy cream achieved a boil. Now we're going into the chocolate and butter mix. The heat from the heavy cream is enough to melt all this and get it all together. Okay, so everything is mixed together and smooth. 
So we just pour it into our pie crust. Okay, so from here, we're pretty much done. We're gonna let this set up. Uh, that just means we're leaving it at room temperature until everything gets nice and firm. I'm not gonna do cut a slice out and do a big reveal. I'm actually gonna deliver this to my friend tomorrow. It's his birthday and he loves chocolate. Thanks for watching. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Happy holidays, safe travels, stay safe out there. Thanks so much.